Yeah, just weights of numbers, Matonga and Wallace are in there to stop throwing Flanagan to add his weight, but Bjorn, this time it comes to Brown, Brown, can he get the pass away? He can, and that's got to be forward, and again... For the offside, Doc, the penalty again. Now there's a decision to be made, Kev, do they take the two? So Harris, nine metres away from the post, should be two points, quality goal kicker, two steps back through the routine, two points it is. First points go the way of the York Knights, Cal, two points to nil their lead. Blasted by Batari and Lilly, but again York just keep coming, Akumatai close to the line, can he? Barge his way over, no he can't, Batari again and Lawrence, this time bring him down, Jub. Short pass, Dee's trying to burst his way over, he's to the line, has he got it down? Dee thinks he has. Here we go, and the tries decision, I think that is... We couldn't, we couldn't see it. Controversial for sure, you know, the intensity of Dee's carry. Harris making, or trying to make it a two-score ball game. Two steps back. Touch judges like it, eight points to nil, and round the ankles, Flanagan's at dummy half. Wide it goes to Lily. Lily with the crash, short pass, and on the crash comes Doro. Doro's held up millimetres away from the line. Sorry, it was Apo, not Doro. Now they'll come back to Rogers. Rogers stretches out. Has he got the ball down? The referee's going to the line. He's got to give the try. Rogers does barge over. And knock, knock, knocking at the door. Final day, barge the way over. And it's Rogers with the try. It's Bradford four, York eight. Yeah, Fenton Rogers there. Just getting in between Thompson and Job again, another barge over try in this contest. It was one after another there as well. It was the substitute Doro, then Apo, who made a dent in the line, and then the try scorer Rogers. And Lily from straight in front adds the two, six points to eight, and three or four metres away from that line where Thompson makes the tackle. Wide pass, it goes back to Lily. Lily then short pass to the Substitute Doro, and again, it's these substitutes that are making all the impact for Bradford. Again, Flanagan, the old man dictating at dummy half, gets the pass away to Apo on the charge, and he's in. Apo's in, back to back tries from the Bulls. Too big, too strong, too fast. Bradford were behind, they're now in front. Their lead by 10 points to 8. And, it, and we mentioned before, whoever wants the game the most tonight will win the game. Well, Kevin Apo wanted it more than anyone in this stadium. When he gets the ball, there's no doubt in his mind that he's going to run over the top of Jordan Thompson, and that is not an easy thing to do. He just pins his ear back, very similar to the Jesse D try. He gets the ball and just steamrolls through two, three defenders and scores the try just next to the post. And what a costly couple of minutes this has been for the York Knights. You know, you could, you could, you know, incline to bring them off the bench because they've played so well, put them in your starting side, but that impact... You just can't underestimate that, Doc. Yeah, Jordan Lilly from pretty much straight in front adds the extras, 12 points to eight nearly. His field will, will hang on, but it's a quick play of the ball. Gaskell on the front foot, drifts across and gets the pass away to Doro. Oh, Dano on the charge, gets the offload up in support at the middle of the field. Is it Blackmore's going to skin over and use the momentum to get the ball? Tom Holmes gets the try under the post like any good fullback, snipping around up the middle. But again, it was just the power of the run from Doro in support of the middle of the field. And Bradford get the first points in the second half and increase their lead. It's Bradford 16, York 8. Yeah, absolute sucker blow there for, for the York Knights. He's gone straight through Fitzsimmons and the backup play by Jordan Lilly. And his partner in crime, the fullback, Tom Holmes, real smart, gets low, gets down early. But it's the crash ball, he just runs too hard for the, for the York Knights. And then that's a great bit of skill, Kyle, to finish off the try. Yeah, it certainly is. It's always good to see, isn't it? Supporting play, and it's the drop off there, and the run from Doro, that right arm offload, Lily in support, and like all good fullbacks do, just keep pushing through the centre of the field, and has the presence of mind to dive early, knowing that this chase is coming, and it's a big, big score, isn't it? The first line, and then finds an offload, post line for the try. Ten points in this game is a lot, you know, and I think York may start moving the ball a little bit more now off the back of that. So Lilly, to make that a ten-point ball game, does make it a ten-point ball game. And Kyle Lee would have come in there a metre away from the line. What have Bradford got in the locker? Have York got enough energy? Apo tries to pinch one. Apo's over the line. Has he got the ball down? Does it matter? The referee's going to give a penalty. Take the two, surely, Kev Brown. Yeah, I think so. Knock it over to 
you know, two clear scores and kicks. Give him no choice, Kev. You know, you spoke earlier about taking the referee out of the game. Well, you're just going to invite him to blow his whistle, give penalty away, and that two points there from Lilly takes the scoreboard at 20 points to eight and two clear tries. Setting that platform, does Lilly go and play earlier this time and give himself some more space? Here goes Lawrence. Lawrence links in with Gaskell. Gaskell flat pass and that's a high shot. So we take the one out the equation. Daniel Kermode. It was with the tackle, I think it was on Wallace. Yeah, great career, Danny Kerman. There's Lilly. Looks to add the two points, does add the two points, 22 points to 80. The dying embers of this one, not long left now. It's Job at dummy half. To Harris, there goes the hooter, up the middle of the field, he's going to try. Harris is going to kick the ball to the right-hand side, what's the bounce of the ball like? Is he going to get to... Into that corner, no it's not, Kieran Gill wraps up the ball. That's going to be the full-time whistle, Bradford charge on. They will carry on to next week in Kemp. Some them up, they've been really good and deserved the win. They've been terrific, they wanted it more, they ran harder, they tackled harder, and they deserved everything they got from this game. They'll have to replicate this and probably even go one step better and, and do a bit more with the ball if they want to progress in the next round with, against Toulouse. But tonight and last week, they've been terrific, and Lee Greenwood will be very, very happy with his side. And Hendo in the call had a dig. Is York side have had a dig, Kyle, haven't they? They've had a dig, they've had a dig, but unfortunately, on the balance of the season, they've just left it a bit too late. They've run out of troops as well, crucially, towards the very end. You know, uh, Hendo mentioned he was down to the bare 17, so, again, I'll say what I said earlier, a huge effort from them. There's no doubt about that, they don't die wondering, but at the end of the day, they just come up against a, a better side, a better team, and with a little bit more quality, and, and the scoreboard of 22 points to eight tells you exactly, you know, the difference between the two sides. Jordan Lilly delighted as his Bulls go for a tough trip away down to, to lose.